This is Celeste from Ujjayi Studio coming at you with today's weather. Clouds. No. <laughs> you're, a, you're on a field trip. This is actually our shower curtain. It's presently still pitch black outside. It's early enough in the morning that I have no good lighting anywhere else in the house except for in the bathroom. So welcome to the bathroom, you guys. Uh, so update on training, eating, fasting, all of those things. So uh, my husband and I have both been now two weeks, coming into our third week of starting to eat ketogenic, which for me, I started last May, I believe, April or May. So it's not a new thing for me. Um, although it's been really challenging to try to fine tune things again. So we're in the process of that. We actually this week went and got a couple cookbooks just to expand our horizons a little bit because I'm usually the kind of person that once I find something I like, I just have the exact same thing over and over and over and I usually don't mind that but you can get a little bit of taste fatigue doing that. And, uh, it was seemingly like it was a, an important thing for us to start mixing things up a little bit. So that's what we did this week. We've made now one recipe for stuffed peppers out of that keto book and they were wonderful. So that wasn't really nice to have that little change. Um, as for training, I'm now today, as soon as I'm done this, actually starting week three of our foundation series. Uh, I usually fit in the first week I fit in actually six uh, weight training days out of, well, you're supposed to do three. I did six. You can do as many as you want, really, uh, within reason. That is, you wouldn't want to do two times a day of the same thing. Uh, last week, I believe I got four days in. What I'm really noticing now that my schedule is back in full swing, it is very challenging for me to find the time and the energy to just be able to get a workout in and I've been having to do it in less than optimal ways basically. You know, I, I'd love to be able to do my morning, get up, go to the gym, do my cardio, everything like that. And it's not always possible for me. Uh, if I'm working until 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, it's very unlikely for me to be able to get up at you know, quarter after four in the morning to go to the gym. So quite often what I have to do is in between teaching classes, uh, I'll be using a gym at one of the community centers I teach at. And it's worked out all right. Um, I just go in and I know exactly what I have to do. No mucking about, in, out, have a quick bite to eat, you know, my salad for lunch, whatever it is, and then back to teaching classes. So the exercise has been happening, um, changes are still happening. So for example, on Sunday, Sundays are my check-in days. I was down about another half pound. I was on schedule to do a little bit more than that, but then Sunday ended up being a really emotional day. Um, and I still am a bit of an emotional eater. So I will admit that on Sunday, I was not a keto person. I ate a Rice Krispie Square and it was very yummy. But interesting fact, even today is Tuesday morning. Last night I was having the most intense sugar cravings that I've experienced in a long time. Um, like I just wanted to keep eating and eating and eating and I only wanted sweet things. I only wanted sugar. I didn't have any sugar because I kind of realized, oh crap, this is because I had sugar the other day and it's my body resisting me and saying, give me more of that stuff. Um, so hopefully that'll be gone tomorrow because that, that's a pretty nasty craving. It's, it's pretty interesting to see what our, our body will put us through. So I should be back. I'm expecting to be back in ketosis later today. Um, it definitely knocked me out of ketosis, clearly, having Rice Krispies, a Rice Krispies square. Previous to that, I'd been pretty deep in it uh, since a couple days in, about 
1.5 was my lowest or highest should I say and I was getting up to about four or six on a very regular basis um, so again now it's just fine-tuning the calorie portion of it which I haven't been doing my fasting the way I should be so today is actually a fasting day um, I'm meaning I'm just having very low calorie um, more like a fat fast you could call it today where you have pretty much just fats your body will use that for energy plus whatever else it needs but having the fat it's muscle sparing so you shouldn't be losing too much uh, lean body mass in that time frame so that's that's what's going on here at Ujjayi Studio of course if you haven't looked at my husband's video this week you could check his out and you can always check out our website probably under construction right now. It's www.ujaistudio.com. I hope everybody out there is having a happy and healthy day.